So today we are going to look at another question that comes up regularly on our diet and nutrition sections. And that is, what are simple and complex carbohydrates? Or what are they good for? And how many do I need of them? And how can I tell them apart anyway? Now, to find out the differences between simple and complex carbohydrates, we first have to look at what a carbohydrate actually is. And a carbohydrate basically is one or more of several kinds of sugar. Because sugar isn't just sugar, there are various forms of sugar, all with their own names, like for example dextrose, fructose, maltose, glucose and many more. The form of sugar your body uses is glucose. It's the simplest sugar of all. And no matter what kind of sugars a carbohydrate contains, your body will always break them down to glucose, which it then uses to fuel uh, various functions your body does. But when it comes to fitness, it fuels demanding activities like, for example, fast running. The difference now between simple and complex carbohydrates is how many sugars a carbohydrate contains. Simple carbohydrates contain one or two sugars and complex carbohydrates contain three or more. Scientists call them mono, D and polysaccharides. Monosaccharides contain just one sugar and the best example here would be the glucose we talked about, which is the only form of sugar your body can use as fuel. A desaccharide contains two sugars, and a good example here would be the table sugar you use uh, to sweeten your coffee with, because table sugar is made up of um, fructose and glucose. The most complex carbohydrates then are the polysaccharides with three or more sugars, they also are called starches and they mainly occur in plants because of the way plants store their fuel. So foods that are directly derived from plants like for example bread, noodles, seeds and so on contain a lot of complex carbohydrates. At this point you might say, so what does all this mean to me? It's quite simple. As we said, the only form of sugar your body can use is glucose, which is just one single sugar. And when you feed your body uh, carbohydrates that are made up of uh, two or more sugars linked together, your body has to break them down to glucose. It has to break these links until it gets glucose. So the longer these chains are that the carbohydrates are made up of, the longer it takes your body to break them down. In other words, um, simple carbohydrates, which are only one or two sugars, they are quite fast to break up and complex carbohydrates take longer. And to put it even more simply, Simple carbohydrates don't keep you sediated for long because your body can break them up so fast and complex carbohydrates keep you sediated for longer because it takes your body more work to break them up. Before you now go and think, hey, I want to lose weight, complex carbohydrates are the way to go because um, I don't want to be hungry all the time and they'll uh, keep me fat for longer. Not so fast, please. Because not all simple carbohydrates are necessarily bad and not all complex carbohydrates are necessarily good. And this is because our foods are more than just sources for carbohydrates. For example here, um, fruits oftentimes contain many simple carbohydrates uh, and yes, they will be digested by your body faster than complex carbohydrates, 
but fruits also come with vitamins and a bunch more nutrients your body can make good use of. On the other hand, white bread contains a lot of complex carbohydrates, but this bread is so white because the flour it has been made of has been treated to a bleaching process and this bleaching process removes practically all the nutrients that usually are in flour and just leaves you with the complex carbohydrates. So, in other words, not all simple carbohydrates are bad and not all complex carbohydrates are good. It also depends on where you get your carbohydrates from. If you followed me up to this point, then by now you should know what food choices when it comes to carbohydrates you should make. The worst choice would be a food that contains only simple carbohydrates and no nutrients beyond that. A good example here would be a candy bar. And because these are just simple carbohydrates and no nutrients, we also call those empty calories. A good source for carbohydrates would be a whole wheat bread because it mainly consists of complex carbohydrates and because the flour this bread has been made from um, hasn't been bleached, it also still has all the nutrients and vitamins that this flour comes with. And this was it. I hope I cleared things up a little bit for you and you know a bit more now about um, simple and complex carbohydrates. If you have any questions about this, ask away and see you next time. Bye bye.